Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the obvious. This Thunder Lip Paint as well as Trophy Wife. If you're interested to see how I got this look, please keep watching. So today I am going to, and I know I'm late with this, but I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Stunner and also the infamous Trophy Wife. I don't really use the Trophy Wife. I think I've only used it once. And so it's almost, look at that, it's very golden and it's got a greenish undertone to it. But it's so pretty. And I just felt like I should do it justice and do a video just dedicated to um, the highlighter, the lip paint, and obviously the lip, lip gloss. <laughs> and the foundation. Let's see what else do I have here. The primer. And I also have one of the um, sticks for espresso for contouring, which is espresso. So I'm just going to do everything just using these looks here. As you can see, my eyebrows are already done. Have my lashes on. I'm going to start by using the primer. What's the official name of this of this stuff? The Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. Looks like that. And I'm sure you guys have all seen this already. <laughs> I just haven't showcased it on my channel at all. So it does have a pump. I'm gonna pump out two squirts. Looks like that. It's, it looks white on camera, but it's actually a little pinkish. It's got a little pink tint to it. Go ahead and use that. It is very moisturizing. Like, it is very moisturizing, which I do like. Which is great considering the formula of the foundation. So, okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation, and I am in the color. 420. When I put it on, it goes on really light, but then as I start to blend, it blends really well into my neck. So you always want to make sure that your foundation matches your neck. And you can see I'm my face and my neck are just slightly different. So that's what I would be doing. So I shake it up because it is pretty runny. I mean it is super runny. Yeah. Thanks. And I'm using a Real Techniques foundation brush to do this. And also with this, you have to work fast. You see what I'm talking about? It is a medium to full coverage. It is buildable. I have not seen the need to um, color correct with this, which is great. Yeah, I'm trying to work relatively fast. on a bit more the other side this really fits my skin so well and not just, it's mainly about that if it's the undertone of my skin, that's what I really like about it because some some of them are um, too red or too yellow, or too gray, but this one, I have a neutral undertone with a um, touch of gold, golden undertones. I don't really need to set this either, so I never really set it. I don't think I have. Oh man, man. This stuff is bomb. I love it. What I've been doing since I purchased this is um, I'll cream contour and then I'll follow it up with the powder, which I think you're supposed to do that anyway. So this is in the color Espresso, and I've had this for a while, but as you can see, look how, I mean, it was probably up to here. And as you can see, like, it's a lot of product. So I'm happy about that. Go ahead and 
Also, I have not, I didn't do the highlighter because I just, mm, I just didn't. I wasn't that impressed with the highlighter, but I mean, everything else, I'm like, mm, gotta have that. Getting this. I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, you know what? I pretty much use. I see. I've used foundation primer and I use the um, contour stick. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then I will come back to do the lipstick. And so I'm back. I finished my Laura Lash line and I did add some. Excuse my voice. Hmm, like I'm getting hoarse. I've added some um, mascara. Let's find uh, luminous. <clears throat> Lash Paradise. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. So we're gonna go in first with our Fenty Trophy Wipe. So the light is catching it, and it is blinding. In the packaging. I've got makeup all over it. So you have to excuse me on that. So again, this stuff is so like potent. I'll just show you a little swatch. See, it's almost yellow, and uh, there is some flecks of like green in there, but it's very concentrated. So, like when using it, yeah, you have to be like super duper careful. So, I am using what am I using? The Anastasia A23 um, highlighter brush. So let's see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna get close so you can see because I'm like almost scared because it's so. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, I don't know if the light is catching that, but it is just so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, nothing flat. It needs some life. <laughs> Like, I don't want to go like all in because like dead on it could look ashy so you got to be like super careful just a smidgen I mean whew. gentle hands gentle hands I will use it as a inner corner highlight though like I'll really go in and add that pop there yeah Man. Yeah. But, oh man. Where's my like dead on? I wanna just tone it down just right here. I was trying to shear it out some, but anyway. I'm gonna leave that alone. Like we are going to stop right here. Okay, so the next is the ooh, Uncensored. It looks like that. And it has, this is the applicator that's on here. Yep. So it's very wet and watery, but the undertone on here, it's like almost a bluish neutrally ish I don't even know if that's a word but that's how I'm describing it because it looks good on everybody so why not describe it that way okay Some Like this but it's still in my corner, but I'm not have to fix that, but I feel like I shouldn't mess with it and let it kind of dry down some still juicy in there. Mm. 
this is such a statement, like, definitely check your teeth when you put this on, but, oh my God. So obviously my final thoughts on this is that I absolutely love it. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, as far as the highlighter, use with caution because, ooh, I mean, use with caution. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Let me check, make sure there was no lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> my eyes.